Uh, with me tonight, Toby Adequadu. It's been a while, Toby, but let me welcome you first before I ask you where you've been all this while. But Toby, nice to have you. Yeah, it, it is my pleasure. Uh, good to be on the show tonight. Um, amazing weekend. I think it was a loaded weekend um, from, from the MPFL to the Winter Games where we had, you know, an endurance, you know, making history, making debut um, in England also, you know, cup final, you know, great games in the APL also, the boxing, you know, strategy. But it, it was a loaded weekend. Super Focus in the mix also got the bronze in, in Code of Vars. So it was a loaded weekend. And in the MPFL, it is all about one man, Julian Lucosa, nine goals in 10 games. You know, looking very good. Good start for Cano Pillars. Um, been a while, uh, the, the man champions of the league. And I think at the mindset is currently, you know, how they can emerge as champions this season. So it's, it's still a good season so far in the MPFL. Third match days, a couple of games. You know, teams on the continent also in the mix. And we're looking forward for more interesting week in the MPFL. All right, let's start off with the... Um you know, talking about the Olympic Games, the winter edition, uh, of course, they say uh, it's not all about winning, it's about participation. Of course, we're excited here. Um, we were able to hoist our flag, just talking about Nigeria, at the winter Games. Everything uh, got to a close. Uh, it was almost overshadowed uh, by uh, politics, but of course, sports. Uh, was the winner uh, at the end of the day. Uh, it brought everybody together. Uh, it was a celebration uh, of um, sports. Uh, and of course, also showing us uh, the power of sports. And we also know uh, that the next Winter uh, Olympics will, uh, will be uh, in China. Let's sit back, uh, enjoy uh, the moments from the closing ceremony of the 2018 Winter Olympics. And after that, we'll also listen uh, to the uh, International Olympic Committee President talking about Thomas Bach, uh, his speech at the closing ceremony of uh, the Olympics. gesture of a heart which we have appreciated so much during this Olympic Winter Games. Dear athletes from the NOCs of the Republic of Korea and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, with your joint march, you have shared your faith in a peaceful future with all of us. You have shown how sport brings people together in our very fragile world. Of fireworks effect, uh, you, you're beginning to um, look at what uh, we will see in Tokyo, uh, Summer Olympics um, in, in 2020. Uh, of course, very interesting. And Thomas Bach uh, echoing uh, what has been on everybody's uh, mind uh, the power of sports, how sport has been able to bring everybody together. You saw the Koreans, uh, you know brought a unified team, were able to hoist um, the, their flag, or, you know, both Koreans under uh, one flag. To, to let me quickly uh, come to you, aside from Nigeria's participation, which is a first, um, and of, I'm very sure uh, other Nigerians will uh, be inspired with what uh, some of the girls uh, did. Yeah. What, what, what are the things that um, you remember about this, um, you know, Winter Olympics? For me, Nigeria's participation, key, but, but also, it, it tells us that sports is powerful with what we saw with the Koreans. Yeah, I, I really agree with you. Sport is, sport is powerful and we know what sport can do for, for the global uh, village. How, how sports can bring everybody together on our own calendar. We talk about the North Koreas and the South Koreas, a couple, couple of politics between them. And at the end of the day, you know, they, they, had, they had one single hockey team for, from both, you know, uh, from both nations. We also saw, you know, both nations, um, you know, marching together. The athletes, you know, marching together. There's, there's a lot of, you know, beautiful... And because of this... Yeah. The two countries will sit together 
and talk about the political issues, yep. but it started from this place. Yeah, like, like I said, you know, sport, sport is very, very strong. You know, it's a very strong element that can bring a lot of, you know, uh, uh, elements together. And like I said, you know, this really, you know, curb the politics between both countries. For them to even have um, one team in the, in the hockey mm -hmm. team really speaks a lot of positive about how, you know, uh, both, both countries can come together and, you know, mm -hmm. you know build, build a great yeah. platform uh, in between themselves. And I think I'm really excited to see how, you know, how much, you know, positive impact, you know, uh, this game, you know, at, at in, in a global event, you know, talking about from the Africa perspective, also what Nigeria mm -hmm. making, the you know, debut director also about nine, I think nine African countries mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. in there. Yes, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get to the podium, but, you know, there's a lot of positive. Yes, the yes, essence is participation. I mean, yeah, very, very key. And, you know, we can build on this. Not popular this. guy from Tonga, that yeah. is always mm. coming without his top, <laughs> you know. And, and, and the, you know, Nigerian, you know, athletes yes, in, in the mix, yes. you know. I mean, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of, you know, a great impact on sport and on athletics and, and from the Nigerian goal, this is, you know, one game we need to not keep our eyes on. This mm -hmm, is one game we can mm -hmm, engage in mm -hmm. more athletes, you know. Break barriers. To, I mean, yes. so, so it, it really opened up a lot of opportunities in sport. All right. I agree with you. It shows that uh, there should be no limitations. Sports uh, is powerful and a lot that can be done. Well, at the end of the day, let's see uh, what the medal table looks like. Uh, let's look at the teams. Uh, that were able to, the countries, I beg your pardon, uh, that were able to uh, get something from uh, the Olympics. Surprise, surprise, uh, it was Norway, and um, they topped uh, at the end. Uh, that's it. That's what the medals table uh, looked like. And, uh, you know, you start from Norway, uh, the Germans. It's yes, good uh, to see, see Norway and my champions ahead mm -hmm. of the likes of, of Germany. And mm -hmm. I mean, this is the United one States. you can get mm -hmm. a stake on. Yeah, I uh, agree with you, Toby. Uh, Norway uh, doing well. They finished with 14 gold medals. Same with Germany, but they had uh, more medals overall. They had 39, and um, that, that's it uh, right there. Uh, they, they are in there, Canada as well, the United States, and uh, Netherlands. Uh, that's the top five uh, for you. Uh, well, Nigeria is not there, but of course, like you keep on saying, uh, the whole essence uh, is participation. It's a good one. Who says that in the next edition, Nigeria, you know, <laughs> will not win uh, a medal? And like I said, uh, it's uh, it's a trailblazing journey uh, for, for the girls that represented uh, Nigeria and you know, other, you know, aspiring athletes cannot look at it and say, I can do this if it's ice hockey, uh, any of any of those events. Uh, forget the fact that we, we think in this part of the world that it's not uh, the kind of sport that, that we like doing. But those girls have shown us that, look, if you put your mind to anything, you, you can't really achieve it. Yeah, really. Um, they're, they're a great achiever. Ungozi, Sheon. You know, and, and the other lady, I mean, they, they are really great achiever. Yes, maybe because of our weather, um, we may not have that strong interest. But don't forget now we have a federation, you know, um, for this. I think I'm an experienced man is, is the president mm -hmm. of that federation. So all we need to do is, is, is to get athletes, you know, um, to travel abroad for training, for competitions and, you know, get them ready. And, and I think I will not stop here. This, these ladies have really, you know, brought pressure on, 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 on the Nigerian yeah. on, the, on, the, on the Nigerians. The government also got interested. I think the sport minister was there. So now we have interest and we know how we can, we can build on, on this. You know, yes, we don't have the weather here, like I said, but we can move athletes abroad to, to have, you know, experience to mm -hmm, compete, mm -hmm, to train. And, mm -hmm. you know, we should not stop here. And I don't think these ladies will allow Nigeria to stop this. I think we'll have more athletes, you know, coming into this one to come and compete. So, this is, um, I mean, like I said, um, this is one game. If we put all our mindsets, we know how strong we are. We know how much talent we have in this mm -hmm. country. What would it say? You know, maybe in the next 10, 15 years, if we plan well, we might get to the podium. Yeah, we might get to the podium. And uh, the Norwegians, well, not, not many people, you know, uh, thought that at the end of the day, uh, you know, they will be the one, you know, uh, the overall winners, but uh, nobody knows their secret, but they've been able to do, uh, do well. So let's quickly listen to um, what they had to say. Uh, some of them are receiving uh, medals, a good one for, for Norway. So uh, let's see what was the secret uh, for their Olympic success. In our system, if you ask the people that are 25 years old, 93% of them have been into sport. They have been members of a club for, to do sports. That means that nearly everybody in Norway is into sport and they are trying out if they think this is fun or not. So uh, that's, that's a huge advantage that it's like sport for everybody. We are lucky that we have a society that actually supports every child that is born. We have uh, free health care. We have free schools, you can have a PhD without paying anything. You just have to pay for your 
food and shelter, and the government would pay for everything else. That means that we have a pool of people that is quite well educated, have a good health standard, and do not have a high level of anxiety for life. So they can actually choose which direction they want to develop in. All right, talking about, uh, you know, secret formula uh, that they use. I think we should just recall that, keep it played over and over, uh, listening to it as a recipe for success, talking about uh, Norway, what they did uh, to ensure uh, they came out top uh, on this one. You might also want to watch out for them uh, at, the, at, at the next uh, Summer Olympics uh, in Tokyo. A lot of people have been talking about um, uh, the Koreans, what they've been able to put together. They are hosted of a major sporting uh, event. So let's listen to uh, what people have to say. How impressed they were uh, with, in terms of organization, uh, with the South Koreans are uh, talking about this winter games. Well, I just think that it was, uh, Koreans did a great job hosting the Olympics here. Everything was really secure. The people was really friendly everywhere we went. And uh, well, now that it just came to an end, it was really amazing. The closing ceremony was awesome. Uh, they had free souvenir gifts for people inside the stadium. Uh, the fireworks, the show, everything was, was really, really great. I've been amazingly nice. Everyone is so hospitable, and honestly, everyone here has been so gracious to us. Um, it, it's been incredible. It's like they're serving us and everything that they do, everywhere we go. Um, I mean, we came through and we were walking in, and they literally gave us these scarves, like, off of their necks, like, and we're like, uh, you know, just kind of offering them to us and like, no, like, thank you for visiting our country. Like, so we really feel kind of like at home because of that and really comfortable. I would say the communication has been blocked for such a long time, but now they, there, there's a slight, there's a small hole that I can see the light from. So yeah, it's, I, I see something's happening. We have a lot of problem, of course, but doesn't matter. We stay here. Uh, Russia in my Russia heart. Russia in my heart. <laughs> this is a slogan. It doesn't matter for us. Okay, if it's blocked, okay, it's blocked. Or for us, it's open. And for me, Olympic Games. It's, it's not like community, not. the people. That's all. Right. Uh, the spectators giving um, the, the host uh, past mark. Um, you know, no one really having anything negative to say. All right, let's go on a break. When we return, still so much for you. Sports tonight. Join us again.